Well, this morning, if you were up early, we saw some sunshine across the area, but the clouds moved in rather quick, quickly today, and they've been through some high clouds, not very low, but as you can see here, pretty much most locations have seen cloudy skies, a break or two of sunshine, but for the most part, clouds dominating the skies. Some areas of rain across parts of extreme eastern Indiana. For the most part, we may see a couple of sprinkles come this evening, but most areas are expected to stay dry. The area where it's wet is across parts of Illinois and also across parts of Missouri. There's a warm front here that is going to be lifting its way northward, and as it does so, the rain is going to overspread Indiana and then into Ohio starting tomorrow. Rain could potentially become heavy at times. So your weather headlines over the next couple of days. Tonight, a few sprinkles. Tomorrow, though, we're expecting rain, especially to the south and heavy at times. And then on Monday, we're expecting showers and thunderstorms Monday afternoon, and it's going to turn quite humid as at warm front pushes through. Right now, Live Doppler 2 HD picking up on a lot of those clouds to the south of us with some moisture in them. But as you get just to the on the northwest side of Cincinnati here, you could be seeing a few scattered showers. But for the most part, most areas will remain dry during the evening hours. Forecast here for this evening, a lot of clouds around, temperatures in the lower 70s, about 66 at 11 o'clock. Then tomorrow, it's going to be a really cool day tomorrow. Temperatures are only going to stay in the upper 60s and showers developing definitely by tomorrow afternoon. There's a look at the clouds outside as we take a look here out at Poe Avenue. And the temperature right now at 73 degrees. The wind is for the most part calm out of the north at three miles an hour. So throughout the rest of the area with those clouds, that is limiting how high our temperature is going to go today. 72 in Lima as well as in Wilmington, 76 in Cincinnati, and 71 in Indianapolis. Today the high temperature was 74. That's 10 degrees below our average high of 84 degrees. Tomorrow cooler yet, like I said, will only be in the upper 60s. Temperatures for tomorrow only right around 70 degrees, upper 60s to around 70. And tomorrow you'll notice here that it'll It'll actually be warmer to the north. So if you are in the northern part of our viewing area, you'll probably be in the low to mid 70s because further to the south, especially south of I-70, that's where we're going to see the rain for tomorrow. Fourth of July forecast. We're expecting morning showers, heavy at times, and then in the afternoon there could be a break here. We'll see some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. High of 77 on the fourth of July. Future track here showing that we will stay with a lot of clouds through the, the overnight hours, and then tomorrow the best chances for rain developing tomorrow afternoon and working its way across much of the southern part of our viewing area south of I-70. Looks like we have a few skips there in our. Uh, um, future track here. Then we're going to see some more scattered showers working their way in even so on Monday night. So tonight, 61 degrees, cloudy skies, a few sprinkles possible. The wind will be out of the northeast and very light. Then tomorrow we're going to see showers developing, like I said, heavy at times, especially south of I-70. Further north you get into the northeast of our viewing area, some locations here may not see very much rain at all until Sunday night. So it kind of depends on where you live. And then high tomorrow of 70. Monday, chance of showers and thunderstorms looks pretty soggy, 77. Then it's going to heat up and we're going to see the humidity work its way in and we're going to be looking at very muggy conditions with a chance of daily showers and storms Wednesday through Friday. Thank you. Hopefully we can see some of those fireworks here from the station uh, this weekend. We'll keep our fingers crossed <laughs> for that.